YouTube is a great resource for photographers and I've found loads of advice and inspiration from watching photographers on there. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through the channels that I personally watch and that I would definitely recommend checking out. Before I get into that, if you've been watching and enjoying and getting something from my videos and you haven't yet subscribed, then please consider doing so. The reason that I asked for that is that there might be others out there that would enjoy them too. And the way that YouTube works is that the more subscribers I have, the more likely my videos will be recommended to others. And if this is your first time here, then uh, please go and check out some of my other videos. I'll put a playlist up there. And if you like what you see, then subscribe and, uh, and click the bell so you get notifications of when I post stuff in future. Now, without any further ado, here are the landscape photography channels that I would recommend checking out. Now, what sets these channels apart is that the content that's produced isn't only of a high quality, but I think that they all offer something a little bit more than the just follow me whilst I'm out taking photos type vlogs. So in no particular order, here goes. Simon Booth, he's a seasoned landscape photographer. He's been doing it for over 30 years. And what really sets his videos apart is that you really see that experience coming through. And for a hobbyist or enthusiast that's looking to improve or somebody new to photography, it's really valuable to see through his eyes. Nigel Danson, he has some great content on his channel. He does weekly vlogs and tutorials and they're absolutely full of great tips and advice. And they usually follow a particular theme and I think that you'll be very hard to come away from his videos without having learned something. Kim Grant, um, she's relatively new to YouTube but already built up quite a following and for good reason. Now, we all suffer from those days where we don't feel very enthusiastic or motivated, but it doesn't matter because Kim has got enough enthusiasm for all of us. You just have to see this particular video of her shooting a sunrise on the beach to get a feeling of that. And yeah, I can definitely recommend following her. Interesting part of the wood. Am I still in focus? Just good enough. Julian Baird. Now he is one of the nicest guys you'll find on YouTube, but what really sets his videos apart is his thorough and detailed approach to his photography. For example, he's recently got a D850 and he's really putting it through its paces. And his recent videos just show how he methodically works through learning that camera and its features, but also how he's using it to benefit his photography. So no list would be complete if I didn't mention some of the bigger names and the chances are that you've definitely already very familiar with these, but just in case you're not, uh, there's two that I thought I would uh, mention here. The first being Adam Carnatch, better known as First Man Photography, and I just wanted to give him credit for the sheer amount of effort and planning that he puts into creating his content. He's got 40,000 subscribers and it's for good reason. And more recently, Adam started to talk about the mental health benefits of getting outside and practicing photography and that's quite an important message I think. And just in case you're not one of the 160 odd thousand people that already follow this guy, of course I watch Thomas Heaton too. And in case you haven't seen one of his videos then what are you doing? Just go check it out, there's something for everyone. So yeah, those are the channels that I like to watch and like I said, I think they've got just a little bit more than your average uh, landscape photography vlogger. But it'd be interesting to know what you think of those channels and I'm sure that I've missed off some of your favourites so feel free to let me and others know what your favourite channels are and why in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching. Memory card full! That concludes it.